The Zoom H4M is a very popular audio recorder used widely by DSLR filmmakers. But how good is its audio quality really? Well, here at Lindos, we have the means to find out. Uh, using our Minisonic MS20, we can run a test sequence and evaluate its performance. So here goes. Right, so the oscillator part of this piece of test equipment is connected to the two mic inputs on the bottom of the H4N, and then we're coming out just straight through out of the line-out headphone jack on it into the measuring side of the MS20, and running a sequence of different tests that are evaluating its performance in terms of noise, frequency response, distortion, headroom and phase. And there we go, it's all done. This first graph is showing us the frequency response at 18 dB below peak. And we can see that it's rolling off at 20k, which is fine. Uh, 20 kilohertz is about the limit of a child's hearing. Most of us, once you get above 18, um, won't hear much above 15k and 20 hertz we're about 3 db down and about 1 db down at 50 hertz um, which is it's, it's fine 50 hertz is there are 50 hertz components in the human in the male human voice um, 1 db is 10 percent uh, so it's tolerable it's certainly usable Right, this second sweep is showing how the recorder performs at a higher level, um, at 3 dB below peak. And here we can see there's a quite a marked roll-off, starting from about 4 kilohertz. Um, and I also heard some funny tones as it was running, so I'm going to switch into manual mode and just investigate that a bit further. And if I turn the oscillator up to 15 dB, above that level, which is plus 7, and then try going above 4K. Oh, that doesn't sound like 5K. That should step up in frequency, and it's suddenly jumping down to a totally different tone. And that's a a sort of intermodulation distortion going on there. Exactly what's causing it is uh, not our problem. Anyway, back to the results. This is showing uh, output level versus input level. So the test was aligned to run with 18 dB of headroom, and then the oscillator went up in 1 dB steps, and we measured uh, what was being captured. and. It should go up in steps, and it does, so that is that is tracking correctly. Uh, so it shows that we're aligned properly. The phase plot is flat. Now, this, if I take a recording of this sequence and put it onto a laptop and play it out you, through a reference sound card, I can see that the, there is a phase error there um, that's about 180 degrees out at 20 kilohertz. But the opposite phase error is there on the output of the H4N, so the two cancel, so you don't see the error here. Um, what does that mean? Well, generally it's not a, not a major problem, but if you sum the two channels at any point, you could get complete cancellation. So if you were using your recordings to broadcast on radio, for example, um, and it was being summed to mono, that, that could present a problem, so it's worth knowing. Noise level is minus 60, and so that equates to about 14 and a half bits, I'd say. Um, minus 69 is about the best you can get out of a 16 bit system, and uh, about minus 80 odd. Uh, this is a weighted noise measurement relative to zero. Um, minus 80 odd is is typical of a good 24-bit system. So it, it's it's not exceptional, but it's it's okay, but it's certainly not 
better than CD quality, as they state on their website. Uh, distortion results are well, the 1K at 0 dB is about 5 dB above uh, the noise level, um, and then the higher level distortion results are, are creeping up. Um, it's okay; they're below audible levels, but they're they're not uh, what you'd expect from a, a top system. Um, and back to the frequency response. So what does that tell us? Well, if we compare it to a camera's mic input, like the 5D Mark II, for example, um, it's about 10 dB better in noise performance. Um, though, if you're prepared to run Magic Lantern firmware, you can get another 9 dB out of the 5D2, and that's only 1 dB off the, the H4n. Um, and another advantage with the, the 5D is that you don't have the problem with the high levels, um, causing this intermodulation inter beats there. Um, so why use an H4N?